Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving back into The Untamed. We're diving into episode 47, the final four episodes. Y'all, we are so close to the finish line. I... It's been such a long journey, and I'm ex... I'm sad that it's ending, but I'm excited that we're finally making it to this point and excited for what's next to come because if you've seen posts that I made on my community tab on my channel or if you've watched my channel update video, whenever that gets released in relation to this, um, I'm going to be diving into the animated version of this and I also bought the first two chapters of the novel, so there's still more, more of this adventure left to go on. So. Yeah, we're just going to dive into this episode and see where it takes us. Okay, yes, I I just need, I need them to enact some sort of plan. Do something. Because, like, when they first discovered the, the place, okay, they're coming to investigate, blah, 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 blah. It's locked up, it's sealed, there's a barrier. Okay, we got people up in here with weapons and whatnot. Si Chen is there. We're confused. Okay, cool. Whatever. Jingling decided he want to start climbing and knocking whatnot and getting arrow shot him. Like, okay, fine. And then we break in. We save him. We destroy our flute, which I'm like, maybe we could have like thrown a talisman or something, or maybe we could have played something real quick in our flute, made some little smoke dragon appear and knock out the arrow, or you know, snatch Jingling up out. I don't know, but you know. Quick thinking, we threw the flute. That's the only thing we could think of to block. Okay, fine. The flute is destroyed. But I can understand us acting cautiously in that moment because Mengyao, he's he's got Wu Xiaon by the neck, literally. Razor wire digging in and basically don't move or otherwise, otherwise I'll end it. I'll end it. I'll end it. I'll end it. So I understand acting cautiously. But then after we're all inside and yes, Si Chen's power has been zapped at this point. He already mentioned his spiritual energy has been drained. Um, Lan Zhan has sealed off his spiritual arteries, which I don't know what the process is to unseal that, those. I don't know if that's like a gradual thing, like in time, a couple of days or something, it'll reopen, or if someone else outside has to unseal them. I'm assuming he can't unseal them himself, otherwise he would have. So, okay, his spiritual arteries are sealed. I don't know to what degree in this world spiritual energy can be detected by other people. So I don't know if Meng Yao can sense, oh, they've got great spiritual energy. Oh, his spiritual energy is still intact because i'm like hey if you can't tell i would just do a little light show and pretend i sealed some shit up but i'm assuming that they can tell this which would make sense since he's good with the zither and he can use it to either heal or harm people i imagine he in kind of in tune with people's spiritual energy so okay that kind of answers that question for myself but i'm like okay so we got zi, zi chen who can't really do anything right now lan john who can't really do anything right now Wu Xian, who we know his spiritual energy reserves are not necessarily high, which is why he couldn't maintain being a swordsman ever since he gave away his golden core. Um, and that's why he turned to the other kind of cultivation, the demonic cultivation, using the flute and whatnot. Flute is destroyed, okay, but he still has some powers enacted because after he threw the flute he was out here slinging talismans in the air left right center blah 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 blah. so i'm like he's still got to have something he may not have all his powers intact but he gotta have something right like he's got something in him and i get erring on the side of caution but i'm like girl somebody do something because meng yao and this other guy whose name I'm not going to remember because I don't like him. Um, getting on my damn nerves and I just need them to die already. Like, please, someone just end them. Lord. But no, we're just sitting around waiting for 
I don't know who or what to have. Maybe they're waiting to find out what the big reveal is. What is he digging for? Um, what what is so important that we're, you know, this, that, the other? What's, go, what's down there? What are we trying to unearth? Um, whatever it is, it's very important to him. So maybe we're waiting by until that's unearthed and then we're going to enact our plan. Maybe not. Maybe we're waiting for someone to come save us. I don't know. But I'm like, y'all, please do something. Please do something because... Meng Yao, I just need him to be ended. More so than Meng Yao, I need this other guy to just be ended because he getting on my damn nerves. Um, there's nothing that really irritates me more. Well, there probably is, but one thing that really irritates me in just life in general, but especially in these series, is someone who wants to talk shit when you're down or you're incapacitated in some way shape or form like when you are at your optimal levels you you could fight the fight you can walk the walk you can talk the talk they don't got a damn thing to say to you but the second that you've been incapacitated in some way so like lan Zhan has had his arteries shut Wu Xian is i don't know hurt i guess so he can't do anything right now so they are not in fighting condition so now all of a sudden he wants to have the biggest mouth in the world that or when people want to have the biggest act like they are the biggest baddest guy when they are they brought a crowd of like four or five six people with them and it's just you so it's like a six on one handicap match and it's like that it it just I don't understand the logic where people are like, I am so big. And, oh, you had such a big mouth before, but yeah, where's that big mouth now? I'm like, that's when it was you and me. You just brought 17 people with you. So of course, you know, I'm going to have a little bit of time struggling here. Or, hey, I just had a razor wire to my neck for the last 30 minutes and, you know, I'm, I'm a little tired. So yes, I'm sorry that I'm not up into, you know, big, but like, just that sort of mentality where it's like all of a sudden now I'm I'm the shit I'm all big and bad because you're not at 100 percent like it irritates me. It irritates me. And I love seeing those people just get their come up. Because I love seeing them get slapped down back to reality. So that's what I need right now. I need someone to just slap his ass back down to reality. And by slap his ass down to reality, I mean, I need someone to end him because he gets on my goddamn nerves. And I don't want to see him on my screen anymore. Um, and we only got three episodes left. So please just get... Do me a service, please. Um, but yeah, then Chang came and it's like, okay, yay, some sort of cavalry is here. But Chang has always been so goddamn hot-headed and so easily goaded. Like people, people could just like get get him distracted verbally so easily. He's so easy to just give into his emotions, and it's just like. Baby, I need you to focus. Please don't listen to, don't let Ming Yao talk. Do not let the man talk. Cause like, see Jen was saying, he's very good with his words. He's very good with his words. He fooled all of you guys for however many decades at this point. The man is very good with his words. He is good at lying. He is good at saying what needs to be said to get the outcome that he needs to get to, to make happen. So. Do not listen to him talk. Don't give him the opportunity to talk. Just end him. End him. But no, Chang just sat there and he kept listening. I'm like, stop listening to this man and just sling your sword at him or sling your purple lightning. Do something. Don't give him a chance to talk. Just continue to lash at him until he is without breath. Okay, just keep going. But no, Chang kept listening and listening and looking over at Wuxian and listening. And it's like, oh, you're just feeding it. You're feeding into it. So then he got himself hurt. I'm like, oh, I just need, I need whatever their plan is. I need them to enact some sort of plan. There's so many times when Ming Yao was just kind of lurking there, talking, lurking there, talking, where he was like four feet away from Wu Xian. I'm like, mm, if only Wu Xian had some little do, 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 talisman that he could just shoot over there, that'd be great. Or if only he could harness some sort of energy in himself to do, 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 do. Or if we could spend this 45 minutes we've been sitting here while they've been digging back there trying to unseal Lan Zhan's um, spirit artery so that he could, you know, put up some sort of fight or something. Or if baby boy over there was 
not a idiot teenager. He maybe he couldn't help in some way, shape, or form. Like I just need I need them to do something. I need them to enact some sort of plan because Meng Yao is just. I need him. I need him to go. I need him to go. Um. So I've got three episodes left. Still haven't had the reveal of who was the person who sent the handmaiden with the letter to Meng Yao's wife. Who was the person who was pulling those strings? Don't know if they're friend or foe. Um, so that's still left to be revealed, as well as whatever they're trying to unearth here in this temple. Um, that's yet to be revealed. Where did Wen Ning go? I don't fucking know. I thought he went to go get Chang, but I assumed if he did, he would have come back with Chang. We saw some red clouds approaching and he took off into the distance. Don't know where he went. Don't know. I'm sure they'll explain it, but right now I'm just like, I don't know where the hell he went. He would be very helpful right now. We could really use him and his his strength right now to um, help in this fight. If nothing else, kill this other guy because he's getting on my damn nerves. Um, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Part of me wants to dive into the next episode right now. The other part of me says that it is midnight and I have to be up at like 630 because I got shows in the morning. And then after shows, I'm going out of town. So then I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to record again. Until I come back in town at the end of the week. Hmm. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. If I'm wearing the same outfit, then you know what happened. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Turn on notifications to be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. Mwah. Now we're together, there's nothing